46 million people say that if they needed access to quality health care today, they would not be able to cover the cost. This is America. Don't get you slipping now. And I can't even have that. You can have it if you want to live in the hills and go to group therapy. But if you want a Beverly Hills mansion and you want a country club membership and you want nine weeks a year at a Tuscan villa, then I'm going to need to take a call when it comes in at noon on Wednesday. Three years later, I don't regret it a bit. This is America. We're Americans. You know, we're deeply selfish monsters that have been bred to destroy all life on Earth. We can't, we have to not lose sight of that message. One of my major reasons to relocate to Spain was the quality of life. I was craving the European lifestyle, the human connections, the ability to just go out uh, without a certain plan, experience things that are happening in the city. Feel that you are actually living. In the US, many people are just so focused and, and it's pretty much inevitable because it, it, regardless, if you make a lot of money, okay, maybe you'll save money and then you live later. I know people, I know many of my friends as well that are so involved in just working to survive. Somebody better do something or tomorrow you will be working for Lloyd. All right, Gold's office. All right, that's a rental. And the cycle goes so quickly on and on that you lose yourself with just surviving, paying high everything and not even having time for yourself. And on top of that, you're being so alone and so many people are just kind of pushed to the side and not being close with anybody. Do you know that in Spain, 98.1% of the people say that they can rely on someone else for help, for shoulder to cry on, whatever you want to call it. But I think this is such a high percentage. In Spain, this is possible. They work to live, not, not the other way around. The US, it's a very productivity-based, individualistic society. Everyone is focused on, let's not call it necessarily just making money. Some people are simply surviving, so it's not really like I want to get rich and let me just not sleep and work six jobs at a time. It starts, it starts in the family. People are being pushed to leave the house early, get in with your life, find a job, get, a, get into school, find a job, start working, make a career, make money and leave. In Spain, it's the other end, which is not ideal. Young people don't have this extreme stress finding themselves quickly. Okay, on one hand, maybe it will help you enter life, but on another hand, you can make also a lot of mistakes by just trying to make decisions quickly, finding jobs or not, not even having time to study. And I think this is a flaw that it's not ideal, which leads me to one of my next points and reasons why I move here. I feel more free in any sense of the word. I don't have to think about wrapping my bottle of wine when I go to the park and just want to sit down on the grass and have a picnic and watch an outdoor movie theater. I can say things. I'm not being judged if I have different opinion. In the US, everything became so toxically polarized. People are losing friends because they have different opinions, just because they're leaning slightly left or right. There is no balance. There is no midpoint. Every word became a trigger word. You have to be just so careful saying things, and I don't enjoy that. I just want to live my life. And here, it's calm in that sense. Like, I don't have to um, monitor myself constantly about what I'm saying and who am I saying it to. Today, it's a weekday. In the middle of the day, people are just <laughs> sitting in the park without much trouble. A major reason why I moved to Spain is the healthcare. I'm sorry, but in the States, for these 20 years, I did not have a proper healthcare, which I know is just, I couldn't afford any. And if, even if I do, it doesn't cover everything. Here in Spain, you have the public healthcare if you're a resident, and if not, as a foreigner, any foreigner 
can just purchase their healthcare. The different companies, the healthcare here is very affordable. On average, people pay about 90 euro and this includes everything. Minus the first couple months, depending from company to company, the first couple months, you can get hospitalized unless it's an emergency. No one is going to refuse a, uh, an emergency. You're not gonna get a bill of thousands of millions of dollars and get bankrupted because you happen to get sick. I think this is a major thing and it's a huge concern in the States. This gives you such a peace of mind to be able to afford actually one of the best in the world uh, regarding the quality of the healthcare. One of the best in the world is here in Spain. They have the longest life expectancy, one of the best healthcare, and one of the most affordable. What else can I say? In America, just for comparison, in the US, again, from state to state, it's probably different. Let me know in the comments if you have personal experience, but if you don't have an insurance, no insurance, just out of pocket, Childbirth costs anywhere between $13,000 and $22,000. In Spain, without any insurance, it's $1,950, including everything. Children, all children get free health care anywhere in Spain. Children are really protected here and in the States. Unfortunately, it's not the same situation not to mention the safety of your children. I don't want to ever experience or think what some parents are experiencing, sending their kids to school and stressing about it, or the kids going through training how to react in case of a mass shooting. I think this is just mind blowing. Here in Spain, there is no such concept. Kids are so free, they're being let out and pl they're playing everywhere. The safety is incredible. Five, six years old, like playing outside in the summer and parents are having a beer or a drink like somewhere at a distance. It's crazy. It's an amazing peace of mind to have. I'm telling you the freedom in all aspects, it's really great here. Another major thing is the weather. And even though I come from LA, California, where it's beautiful and sunny, I still enjoy this here. It's pretty much great weather throughout the year. It gets a little hot, a little humid in the summer, but it doesn't matter. We still have almost four seasons and I do like this change. I like a little bit of a change. It just kind of gets you into fall right now. But, but also this activity in the park never stops. It's so pedestrian friendly, the city, bike friendly, pedestrian friendly. I love that I don't own a car. I've been waiting for self-driving cars, cars forever. They're not here yet, but I don't own a car here. I love that I can walk everywhere. I can take the transportation when I want to, but the whole city, it's literally 30 minutes walk from one, one point to the other at the, at the central part. Of course, there's more, more to it. Even though LA, it's a place where people are focusing on health and fitness. It's, it's a major thing there in LA. Here, it's just happening naturally because you walk so much. You don't have to necessarily go to the gym. You're burning calories as you walk. The food's great. So you're just getting in shape seamlessly, easy. And I like, I like something about that. It's really organic. Another reason is I want to live in human-centered society. The one I have here in Spain. People are calm and they would care about you because they're being taken care of. They take lunch breaks for like two hours. In the US, you're being pressured. If not by your boss, you're gonna pressure yourself by just driven by performance, doing better, doing more. And I think this creates so much stress and alienation between people that when you add the inability to really walk easily, freely in the city, to see some nature during your lunch break, it just overstresses your brain. And believe it or not, there is a study, all the countries with the highest GDP have the lowest mental health. They have the most mental health problems. How sad is that? Another thing that I really like here is the attitude towards elderly. 
Seniors here are so well taken care of and they really live their, you know, the second half of their life freely, beautifully, and just really taking every bit of it with joy in the morning with a coffee, a glass of beer, a glass of wine. Yes, in the morning. Another reason is that I wanted to go to different cities to travel easily. And I can do that living here in Spain, having Spain as my home base. I visited many places in Spain as well as outside of Spain. I just came back from Paris. We've been to Portugal, um, is Istanbul, Italy, just so easy to go to another country. When I was living in the States, first of all, just organizing this whole thing, getting a day off from work, even if it's your own business, and then figuring out the finances when you travel, it's always a big commitment. You can really make better choices and just have a more enjoyable life here in Spain. And just like that, we had like a 40 minutes conversation with the pharmacist. It is just so easy here in Spain to, to walk into a conversation without much effort, without knowing the person, just like that, with strangers. In the US, that's very hard. People don't trust each other. People are not curious about each other's life. By the way, nobody asks me how much money I make here. Every time I meet people, they're interested in my life, like what I do, uh, what movies do I like, what books do I read, concepts, ideas. Nobody cares how much I make. Three years later, I don't regret it a bit. We moved at the right time and things just got, I'm sorry, but things got shittier in the US. And the sooner, if you're thinking about moving, the sooner you do it, I think, the better you do. We're in a, in a constantly changing world. And now, especially with the insecurities everywhere, don't postpone your life. This is the moment to just find a way to live a better life. And if you got any value from this video, if you liked my video and you received any helpful information, please click the like button. The YouTube algorithm loves that and it's just gonna show it to more people and help more people get information about Spain to see what's really wrong with the US and how sad the whole story is. Watch my video here.